Hey everyone, Tepan here. Welcome to Season 7. The wipe day has finally arrived. Patch 14 is upon us. It took us a long... It took me a long time to get in. It took, a, it took me... I don't know, just under four hours to get in. Um, so they've been struggling to get that out of everybody. Hopefully you're in by now. This episode will be coming out the day after. So hopefully uh, you'll be able to get in by now. I just was persistent. I was just persistent with the buttons. So hopefully that's all resolved. Uh, yeah, we're about to hop in, choose our class. Our name is chosen, chosen, Deadpide FPS. And uh, here we go. Season, season seven of Hardcore Tarkov. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Gray Rat. Welcome, welcome. For those who are new here, I do I do my YouTube stuff live, so I don't have to edit later. Um, and YouTube, if you're seriously, if you're new, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. It's such a big deal. It really helps out the series. Um, yeah, if you like hardcore, you're in for a good one. We're here for the uh, the entire season, the entire wipe, uh, or at least that's the goals at, at, at start here. So, the rules video is in the playlist. Check it out. I'll link. I'll link the playlist down below. It's the first video in the playlist. It goes over all the rules that we're doing. Um, I briefly went over them for Twitch chat this morning, but basically the recap is we're deleting everything. No scav. No insurance. No barter. Um, or sorry, no scav. No insurance. No buying from dealers. Barter only. There's a few exceptions of things we can buy. Um, no flea. Did I say no flea? I don't know. Go check out the rules. They're very simplified this way. Um, the major the major difference is we're doing the pestily key rule of I can put unidentified keys in our pouch container once we get one. We're not going to start with one, but once we get one. Um, and that's so that we can progress um, and try to get to Kappa. So that's going to be our goals. Uh, max stash, all that good stuff. Now, we've been doing USEC for the past however many wipes. It does have an advantage on Lighthouse. I don't think I'm going to change that up. Because it does, you don't start with you start with different weapons. I I actually prefer the AKs early in the wipe. Um, although the recoil systems are new now, so I don't really know. You know, the actual M4s might be more comparable. Um, we haven't really heard too much about the new boss. I'm hoping that the recoil overhaul is good. I I watched so I when I was struggling to get on, I did go watch a few other streamers, and from watching it, it looks like things are a little bit easier to control. Um, and like not as wild on those first three bullets. So I, I have good hopes as well. It's flawed. I have good hopes. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we're already playing with hard enough, hard enough stuff, hard enough difficulty. So I think we're just going to keep going USEC until there's a reason not to. And maybe this will screw us later in the playthrough with the new, with the new bear stuff. Um, so yeah, who do I usually use here? Remember, we gotta, we gotta look at this the entire time. I don't like Blackburn. Now the voices you can change whenever. Bad feeling about this. Make sure we do a clean sweep. Okay, it's enough. Okay. We got bear. Oh. Now we got a goddamn scam. Oh, I kinda like Patrick. Is the new bear stuff on shoreline? I don't know. That's the thing. I it didn't it seemed like there might have been a possibility, but not necessarily guaranteed. Or was that an actual thing? That would make sense because they're opposite of Lighthouse, right? Maybe we do go bear for that then. So we can explore the new areas. You know what? Yeah. I changed my mind. Mid-character creation. The first major plot twist. I don't know what. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we can just do our Lighthouse stuff at night too. Like, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. We, we know how to survive the, the Lighthouse raid. Um, with, with all of that. There's a really old, gnarled guy that I liked. Oh, he's different. I think it's this guy. I like the, like, the kind of the old, gnarled guy. I know the top I opened up the area up, but it's just, oh, it's just a minefield and put a bear stuff in there, but I don't know if that was for this wipe. I see, I see. Oh man, maybe we're going. Maybe this is the this is the double the double. Are we are we doubling up here and going Usec. I think we're doubling up here and we're switching back. <laughs> okay, I do like this. All right, it's committed. It's done. I can't go back. It's done. We'll deal with it as it comes. We'll deal with it as it comes. I actually like the Patrick voice. 
My, my neck can hit all these direction changes? Yes. Okay, controls have been reset to default. All controls. Dang, okay. Action jump has been re-signed to spacebar on release. New action vaulting has been signed to spacebar on continuous. Please try these in games before changing them. Okay, yeah, we, we will do that. We will do that. Okay, so first things first. We must, oh, they give us A A22, A22 instead of uh, PST. You'll love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. So basically what I do is I just like to fill up, hold control and click. And then we just, we delete this way. Oh, this is all changed up. Okay, so settings. Um, I guess these are my graphic settings. These may, these may change. These may change. I think I need to put the textures back on high, but I, not today. Um, so yeah, these are our current, our current things here, but for controls, I like to, is there a search here? I guess not. Might've missed it. Page up, print screen, delete. There we go. Discard, I'd like to put on you. And then you hit delete and then you just hit yes for that. So that just, that just speeds up everything. Uh, remember, we are deleting the alpha container. I, there were some suggestions just to keep that for the hands and be able to unpack ammo. And, like, that's nice, but also not necessary, I think. It's it's nice, but not necessary. It's it's cool. Uh, cool, but not, like, amazing. Okay, just deleting our stuff here. Okay, you, 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 you. So control all these over. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's just from years and years of deleting my starter stash. All right, is that it? Is that everything? Zero, zero, zero. Looking good. We're back, Calden. We're back. Make sure audio isn't on mono. That's a <laughs> always a good idea. I think we're good, though. <laughs> yeah, there's a new map, which I'm assuming we just have to go to the new map. I See, the problem with this is everybody's going to the new map, and we're just going to get murdered, right? Because I think it's a very fairly close quarters map. Um, hey, Chaotic Tom. I'm doing well. We finally got in. Finally got in. Four hours later. All the goods got nuked. Yes, we're playing hardcore. For those who've never seen this, this is how hardcore starts. This is why, like, my stash at the end of Last Wipe was impressive. It was impressive, you know? Um hide that for this one um i think best said you have to do some of the tasks on the new map to open up other tasks interesting i guess the problem would be then if you don't oh achievements there's an achievements tab traveler so i have an extract from every location on tarkov while at pmc love it make a notch eliminate 30 pmcs with a melee weapon while playing as a pmc oh <laughs> i would be cool to get the world's first on that huh um, you suck. Eliminate 50 US Tech PFCs. Bear with me. God, the puns. I love the puns. PFC's best friend. Co-op? Okay. Eliminate Killa for the first time while playing as a PMC. Tell you probably to kill the first time playing as a PMC. Science of Sawmill. Oh, yeah. So, kill all the bosses. These are super basic, super basic, but I love them. I absolutely love them. There's a snowball. Love that. These are so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just something extra to do. That's like carries over to the next wipe, right? Um, let's go check our hideout too. Okay, I'm not sure if this is all any of this is new, but I'm gonna leave it up on screen there for you. Um so yeah. And then this is all I think these are all normal. They're looking all normal. You got a tree! I got a tree D. Okay. Chaotic Tob, thank you so much for the four months of Prime Gaming. Prime Gaming is one of the best way, or Prime Subs, one of the absolute best ways to support the content here. It's already bought and paid for. You just got to make sure you get over here and share it. Crafting meds. Hmm, not sure what that is. But yeah, this is all pretty classic stuff. So good, 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 good. All right, there's nothing really for it. I guess we're just going to we're gonna hop on. Uh, this is the scav. We get to look at the entirety of the wipe. That's not a bad looking scav, you know? Nice little cowboy hat, little Saga 9. It's going to be our good luck charm here. Yeah, there's a BTR. Yep. Whoa, the map looks different. Look at that. There's no locked areas except for terminal. So this is, I think this is going to be what's left. They're, they're, they're scrapping suburbs. 
This is going to be our map. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I mean, we have to go ground zero, right? We have to go ground zero. Um, and I never settled in on uh, whether we're going to do a uh, left-hand time slot only thing. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see y'all in that raid. Don't worry, chat, save me. We got to accept all the tasks here. Okay, shooting cans. Accept. Locate the U2O's machine gun on ground zero. Look at the AGS grenade launcher on ground zero. Eliminate any target on ground zero. It gives us a Mosin. Okay. First in line, locate the Emercom station in on ground zero. Hand over any medicine items. Any medicine items. These are really basic tasks. I like that. Uh, use the paid extract. Oh, it gives us 5,000 rubles to start with. That's actually kind of cool. Um, locate the USEC PMC group at the part parking lot. To... Okay. Jaeger's not unlocked, of course. Now, we could be going other maps and getting a lot of stuff done here, of course. But, I mean, I am going to bring this money in. I don't even care. Like, that's our first, it's our first rubles, baby. Um, there is a new area in Shoreline, but it's not the Bear Area. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're definitely going to try out Shoreline as well. But we got, we got to go Ground Zero here, you know. Now, we'll see in that raid. Here we go. Our first raid. It's going to be, as I was just telling chat, it's going to be really... Oh, my sensitivity is way too high. I guess they did reset everything. Controls. Uh, I forget what I had in my net. Even that feels a little bit too high. Shoot. That's a little bit too low. All right, we'll try that. Kavas there. Oh, weapon case. So it, it's going to be really hard. Oh, security vest. Let's go. Goggles. Things that we can sell. Um, it's going to be really hard to beat our first raid last wipe. It really is. Because that was just silly. Oh, I want to try vaulting. Can I vault? I think, th I think that was a vault. So it's going to feel like a jump, but it's just going to be kind of automatic. I think is how it's going to go. Okay. Remember this? Starter area is a bunch of... Um, apparently scavs don't spawn in right away. Is apparently how that goes. Um, and... Yeah, apparently scavs don't spawn in right away, and then, um... It's kind of a small area. So, we're gonna look for... Oh god, there's a knife in that dude's back. Oh, there might be a gun in this. With this guy. Yes. Ugh. Pistol. Let's go. Alright, we got six rounds. That seemed like a new animation as well. So, if there's rules correctly, you can't buy alpha container. Oh, I need to put the alpha container on the rules list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um... Sorry, no, I meant the alpha I meant the alpha container to be on the on the I don't know where things are. This might be scavs coming for us. Because we're, we're we should be tagged in curse right now. Oh, this feels too sensitive too. I want to put it down a smidge, but I also don't want to like die here.
point four on that. It's still too much. Yeah. Ah! Oh, we got a melee weapon. We got a melee weapon. That's a big deal. Goodness gracious, Scav. <laughs> yeah, so we're tagged in Curse, which is why he came running at us. Yeah, that feels a little bit better, but I don't, you know. Oh, God. That's why there's a bunch of scavs out of breath. It seems. Oh, this is a really long map, huh? That comes pretty close to last wipe? Yeah, no, it it it's close. God, we gotta start worrying about money and stuff now. I really don't want to be caught in this container without meds. It's funny that how much this reminds me of labs. Someone was just here, no? They went in, like, a door here. Did I, did I not see them go into a door here? Oh, look at that. We vaulted. We vaulted. It's so exciting. I mean, I can't even really loot right now. Is it just me at the game look choppy? Oh, I know. Sorry about that. The recording should be fine. No, that's my bad. That's my bad. I, for I had display capture on, not just game capture. That's going to be a battery, isn't it? Yep. So I wonder if they went through one of these doors. So I think we're in a basement area, or we're in a basement area somewhere. Can I loot that? Oh, it's locked. What is, I guess it's just a body? Huh. Maybe that's the door they kicked open. Well, let me know if it's smoothed out. It should be a lot smoother. And it shouldn't be it should be fine on the recording, but actually no, it might not be fine on the recording. I'm just realizing now. It may not be. Oh my god, there's no recoil. There's absolutely zero recoil. What in the heck? Smooth now. A lot better. Good, good, good. Oh, that's such a good gun. Noodles? Oh, my goodness, chat. We're making ramen. We are making ramen. There's a hammer there. We don't need that right away, though. I don't know where to go on this map, by the way. Just so y'all are aware. A 
I'm assuming... I think the police car or police checkpoint is the car to take. Heard a scav. I would love to reset right now. I think my FOV feels a little weird and off too. So, having a full reset is weird. Take me a while to get connections made in my, my head here. This might be an extract. The extracts are supposed to be easy to find because it's supposed to be a starter map, you know? These are the sky these are the high rises that you can see in the distance on streets. Connections in your head are called memories. Look. Whoa, that's a cool floor. Is that thermite right there? Computers. Oh, there's a big weapon case there. Oh, there's a... Pickles greater than thermite. <laughs> Agreed. I don't know how important these will be early on. If I'm being honest with you. I don't think they're going to be a top priority right now. that <laughs> oh is this the car this is a police thing I mean, my goal is also not to go in circles here so i think we got to go left here I also don't want to, you know, explode from mines and such. What are you? No, no. Are you an extract? How hard is it going to be to learn streets? I haven't played in two wipes. Streets takes a bit, but it's, it is it is grid-like. Uh, skeletal. So streets is not... It, it, it takes a bit. I'm not going to say it's easy or free, but it, it, but it is possible. No way they didn't see me there, huh? I really don't feel like interacting with players. Oh, look at that vault over, baby. Oh, vaulting is going to be so good. So, but I believe in you. Uh, the map, there's really detailed maps. And I would recommend the compass. I would re really recommend a compass. Because when you're inside of a building, you can know which way you're facing inside the building. Which is actually super relevant. Crap. So that's, we saw that guy. I don't know if this is... I think I saw Pestley in this area at one point. You just actually vendor the compass? Oh no, I'm sorry. I wonder if you an extract, maybe? No. It's nice, they give you a lot of time to figure it out. Oh, that's really, really good. Oh my god, I had a 
five seven. Oh, it's out of 160 now? Dang. I mean, that makes sense with all the new plate carriers, but... I think I might need to increase this... Our ADS speed a little bit here. Are you an extract? No. RIP hex grid. Oh, look at that bolt! So good. All right, sorry, I need to do this real quick. We're going to do, like, point... I forget what I had my settings at before. We have to go find that old clip. You did not get another notification? I'm sorry. I pinged everybody on Discord in hopes that that would be good. Yeah, I finally got onto the launcher, Simon, like 15 minutes after. And then after I got on the launcher, it was pretty easy to just brute, kind of brute force spam click it, you know. This is the first raid. Yeah, we're on our first raid. We get we found a we found a pistol, had a scav rush us, got the scav who had a shotgun. And really, we're just trying to find our extract here because it's, well, our first raid. <laughs> And I have no idea where to go on this map. Or, like, where the edges are, you know? So that's kind of what we're looking for here. Assuming somebody took the police car already. But it doesn't look like it. So apparently police checkpoint is where the car is. Would love to take that. Is that a laser? I think somebody was shining a laser at me. And I don't like it. Although, I don't know if I can get out of this corner, so... Oh, no, we can. Okay. Oh, this is where we saw that other guy. Okay, so maybe this is an extract? Oh, that's snipers here. But is this an extract... Signal flare area. Okay. Got it. Oh, this is why we kept hearing signal flares. Okay. So, which one's that? Maybe Evercom checkpoint? Did Arena wipe? No idea. I didn't play Arena. Don't go that way! Don't go that way, chat! Nope. Not that way. Nope. I don't like it. Is this this isn't our car, right? Nope. Okay. Yep. Nope. Ah, look at that. Look at look look look. There's the warning sign. Okay. It's not that way. Got it. Got it. Learn by doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we've definitely been up through this way before. Problem is, if I hit another mine again, we're definitely just going to fall over dead. This feels like it could be the police check area. I just... I don't know. There's so many police cars here. This has no... Oh, is that below us? I think that's below us in the garage. This has no recoil, by the way. Oh, 
you're an actual, like... thing here. I'm not used to that. It's weird. Not good. That is weird, man. That is weird. I realistically should take this shotgun to complete the first task, but... This is kind of the area we spawned in. Come on. Like, whatever. Can I open that? No. We got ourselves a helmet. I really hope we don't get murdered by mines here. Oh, no, we've been through this already. Because I think I need to go wrap around here to the right, then. I also don't know if we spawn further away from our extract or if everybody has kind of the same extracts and you just kind of spawn randomly on the map and it's the small map so you don't worry about it. So here's the thing. I don't have any heavy bleed heals. Please have some heavy bleed heals. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Please. 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 Eight thousand years to search a rig for a bleed. Come on. Okay, maybe we can stay alive with these. How do we not have heavy bleeds, dude? There's the Taz, too. Let's make sure this stays alive. It's right here. We're broke. It jammed. It jammed. God dang it. Well, that's okay. GG. Man, I there's a still a player there. God, I can't believe that guy didn't have a heavy bleed. Yeah, RNG of jamming. I think we get that guy if we can jam him, or we can heal, you know. That guy probably had a heavy bleed. Oh, so it did... I, my rules... I just realized my rules weren't super clear. If it wasn't explicitly stated that we can't use it, we can't use it. So we're just letting... We're just letting after red heals be a thing, by the way. Um, all services, all that kind of stuff. Um, I do need to add... I can buy the alpha container. Um, I do need to add that. So, yeah. All right. So, 
unfortunate, unsuccessful there. I mean, if we knew where Extract was, I probably would have beeline for it. That's that's a lack of map knowledge thing. And I have our gun jam. That was unlucky. I think we had a decent shot there of getting that guy. Um, the no, the no recall, man. That is weird. That is really weird. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I genuinely am not. I, I genuinely don't know how I feel, I'm feeling about it. So, I think we're going to try Woods. We have a knife now. That's pretty cool. Like, we have a shot, at least, against something. So, we're going to give Woods a shot. We're going to maybe give, um, maybe give Shoreline a shot at some point. Uh, Lighthouse can be pretty good. All, all these can really be good. Factory and Customs are a little tough. Um, Reserve can also have a lot of guns, but again, you're really condensed, so it's like you get, you get, um, tagged and cursed pretty easily. So, anyway, I'll see if that second raid. Whew, okay. Raid two. I, want, I wanted that first one to be a success, but that's okay. We're still getting used to controls as well and like all the all the new stuff. Um, oh, this this has potential for disaster. Uh, let's let's go to the um, uh, the USEC camps are going to be a bit rough here. Fortunately, it's free to heal between zero and five. Let's go to the uh, the convoy here, I guess. I'm also not very brushed up on my... Um... Can I... I don't know if I... I don't know if that was a vault or not. I don't think it was. Um... What was going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, my brain's firing so many different cylinders right now. It's just like, look at this, look at that, look at this. Do the thing. Hooray. Yeah. I was going to say the USEC camps might have some guns for us, but... Probably being looted. Would be my guess. And I actually don't even know if there's any... There was a, like a wooden crate or two here. But maybe not. Oh, here's one. All right. Well, this can have a gun. Oh yeah, not brushed up on woods caches. Yeah, woods caches are tough. Could try to knife a scab. What is, what, is, what does this do again? Twenty five nineteen. The vaulting feels clean, or has felt clean. I agree. Could very easily be a scab down here, or a player coming after me, or whatever. But if we can get cover here, we might be able to stab a scab. There are also military and weapons cases there, but it, by dynamic loot. Ah, okay. I heard. I heard bushes. And I should be tagged and cursed. No thanks. Ooh, you're taking a while to shoot. And I appreciate that. We've had, we've done one raid, Dale, since we've got on. Yeah, we did one raid since we got on. Interchange parking gave you a normal start. Oh, yeah. Interchange parking is always good. That's true. Oh, I guess we could loot these. These can have pistols in them. We also need food, I guess. Drink, the, drink this rat cola for sure. Hey, thanks for the follows, everybody. If you like Hardcore Tarkov, you're in the right spot. We always... Not always. I say the last three wipes, we've been doing it since day one of the wipe, and I've been loving every second of doing it that way. It's pretty nuts. Okay. First try.
please have a bandage. No thanks. Don't bring a shotgun to a knife fight. Ah, that's what I needed last raid, not this raid. <laughs> Come on. Bandage? All right. Yeah, the knife is bad. This is why you want the axe and not the knife. All right, maybe this guy will have... Oh. Um, a bandage here. Everybody's got noodles, man, but I need bandages. <laughs> I just can't believe I did the wrong ones. It's unreal, dude. Alright. Alright, maybe we can kill this guy. PS2, dang. No, A2 only does health. Yeah, alright, so we heard those over to our left. Maybe we will go to med camp here. We have outskirts, right? Oh, somebody's by bridge, maybe? Oh, they somebody just took bridge. That's fine. This is where I'm not brushed up. I know, I think one of these has a uh, cache on it, but the caches are usually light on meds. This one only has 86 armor versus 160 of that level 3 one. Okay. Okay. Alright. I mean, we have a lot of nice starter items. So, we'll put you on 5, we'll put you on 6. That's pretty good. Okay, this has probably been looted. Yeah. Or feels like it's been looted, but they left behind a bandage for us, so that's nice. It's better than this, I think. By a whopping <laughs> two ergo. Nailed it. M4. We'll need it. Checking for those MP5s that stand up around here. It's always good to get. Probably worth keeping. Okay. Definitely going to need those. Technically speaking. I mean, this might just be good money for now. I don't think that MP9 does much for us. 
Like, it's not worth a whole heck of a lot of money. Yeah, something's definitely off about my FOV, for sure. I think I need to put it on max again. My eyes are, like, not adjusting to this well. Well then, um, I don't think I need that right now. I'm assuming we're still going to need something for that, you know. I have five durability left on this AI too. I'd rather save it for topping up my head. We'll see if we get anything from these guys. Hey, Caps. Congrats on getting in. Let's go. They did add double-click use, yeah. Yep. It's nice. Drink that, loot this, come back, drink the rest of that. And honestly, we're probably just going to head to outskirts here. We're not really, like, we need meds, of course. Oh, I did loot that already. But we're doing okay here. This is money, and we do need money for some of our things. Hmm. Gonna do that. Ah, bummer caps. That's how it goes. <laughs> um, yes, the four do test. I think it seems like forces you to go to ground zero. Now, obviously, playing in hardcore, we're not gonna be able to do that. I would actually love to go in there with like. I want to see what the default recoil is like on a base M4 with iron sights. If there's no recoil in the full auto, I think that's gonna be a ton of fun. Or could be a ton of fun to, to utilize, you know. Story life with cat with uh, Tarkov wipes, yeah. Helmet. No. Ah, gotcha. Helmet. Yeah, buddy. It's found in raid, so it's not like it was left here. So. That's something. Meds would be ideal. Nice little car kit, Salewa kit. Uh, don't think we can use any of those. I'll have to move it, so I will game when I should work. Nice. Oh, man. So, like, can you... Oh. So, yeah. So, it looks like we're going to be able to vault up rocks in some capacity. But that actually hurt me because of my arm. And that's super cool. I don't know. That's... I know it's such a small thing, but it is a cool thing. IMO. Can those go? I think I would rather have ears. Yeah. Always. Uh, did I skip the one on the hill? No. I mean, work really, really, really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did I skip the one on the hill? No, it's there. So, Shoreline Sniper Rock will hopefully be a lot easier now from now on. Although there's new areas on Shoreline to explore as well. So we'll just see how it goes. Ah, uh, yes. Good old, old school stats here. That's a good 
one. MP7, huh? I don't think that's right. It's decent money, but these two are just better for us. I, I guess it's because I can fit it that way. It's probably better. And, like, even if we use that as, like, a bad pistol, it's still better than nothing, right? And we do want to get these uh, early game tasks done on, on the new map. For sure. Oh, by the way, services also include, like, repairing stuff and... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my the way my brain works. It just fires off a bunch of... Ooh, ooh, ooh. And sometimes forgets its train of thought, and then it circles back around to it, like, 20 minutes later. So I do apologize, YouTube and chat. That is just me, I guess. Especially when I've had a lot of caffeine, and I've had a lot of caffeine today. Um, but yeah, that'll be a... A shiny squirrel. Yeah, exactly. That includes, like, buying buying uh, new outfits. That includes buying all that good stuff. Repairing weapons, repairing plates. Everything. Assuming this has either been looted and... Assuming nobody's going to have a key. There's a motor there that I would love to have, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Definitely want to drink that. We're definitely going to need relays. I think the relays are worth that. Um, teapot's worth a decent chunk. But right now, I don't think we can afford to take it. Too much, uh, too much going on. And I would love that motor, but... That is weird, man. It feels weird. It feels weird. That's all I gotta say. It just it feels weird. I would like some of this stuff. Uh, I would even like that, but. We just got no room. All right, let's get back out of here. Bad ammo sucks a lot more now. You think so? Because I think with all the new hitboxes, it's it's gonna be pretty easy to get headshots. On top of the new recoil, which feels real bizarre. I must admit. No thanks. Let's, just, let's get a let's get a win here. I want to get a win. I see you. Don't see me. Oh, for sure against armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is fine. So it's like there's more areas to hit without that, but armor is like much more powerful in the in the places it does block. I've, yep, we've shot at shotguns a few times. Although, I will say this pistol grip makes things a little bit funky. But it is needed for a gunsmith. So. We'll hopefully be able to get out of here with that. Does Outskirts not have this truck anymore? Or is it just behind these trees here? Oh, it does. Okay. Weird. We survived our first raid. We survived our first raid. That's epic. Let's go. Oh, GG's, everybody. We're out.
We've got some stuff. We got <laughs> I don't even know how many hits we got with that melee. Nice. All right. And again, I'm allowing that for even after death. Um, just for the ease of use. It, it, it almost makes no difference in the uh, actual playthrough. All right. For the first time ever, I'm going to be putting stuff into my stash. You'll love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Okay. So what I might do now is I think I think we, push, we just bring this in and we're going to go back to ground zero. And see what we can do with that. And then we'll have, like, this as a backup. Because, like, this this shot pretty decently. And, like, this is good there. Let's let's hit this inspect. So, here you go. So, here's, these are our plates. Titanium, 6.5 millimeter aramid. Insert titanium plates. Yeah. And this one's groin. But they only have 8 out of 8. So, it's really interesting. Really interesting. Oh, is this a turn-in? What's a turn-in here? Oh, it's for any med items. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's actually yeah, you're right. That's worth turning in. Um, that's worth turning in for sure. Uh, we should also maybe sell something here so we can um have money for the extract. Yeah. That's integrated. Oh, so there's a non-replaceable plates versus replaceable plates. Maybe we'll actually even bring this in too. Although this this will stop scabs for me. Well, maybe we want scabs not to be tagged and cursed on us though. So that, that actually wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah, let's do that then. This has 18 instead, but we can put a site on that. So let's wait for that. But yeah, let's do the 5,000 out here. And I and I would like to be able to stop bleeds though. So we'll do, uh, we'll do like a little, we'll do five, six for those. Um, do I, do I want, do I want this though? I think we'll, we'll deal with that. Chamber loading, knife kills. What's next season going to be bare hand? Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's good. Non-integrated can be moved as weapon. I see. I see. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go. Let's go hop back on the ground zero and see what we can do. I guess we could do nighttime. It's going to be a really well lit. I think I'm going to do that for less um, player scab presence, as we always do, you know. But it'll also be daytime at the start of this raid, so it's not even going to be actual nighttime. I'm also going to go pull up. There's a, apparently a, um, I think there's a map floating around here, so maybe we can maybe we can uh, use that um, for sure. Premier, I think that 13-month resub Reno, did they, did up, they the up the ping limit? I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, I'll see y'all raid. All right, it is unfortunate. Oh, that went to the wrong thing here. I wanted to be on this one. It is unfortunate, YouTube. The servers kind of started pooping their bed uh, as we were trying to load in there. It was like one 12 minute to 15 minute like load in slash quit, and then a 25 minute load in that never went anywhere. So it was about an hour that we didn't get into a raid. So we're actually going to call that an episode. Bit of an unfortunate way to end the episode, but um, hey, two raids is good. Honestly, I think that's going to be our average moving forward is like two to two to three raids uh, per episode, depending on how long the raids are, of course. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this wipe. We had a good start. We had to survive on woods. We got some nice items out. Got that. Uh, got the shotgun. We are going to have to complete tasks on um, ground zero. So I'm not really sure how they're planning on stopping people from leveling up to 15 and then not completing those tasks. That's kind of interesting to me. Um, but... I think we can survive Ground Zero. I am going to watch some streams and maybe get familiarized with Ground Zero a little bit. And then hopefully tomorrow or today's, this episode might... Well, tomorrow. I think I'm going to release this episode the night of the first wipe. Um, so this is going to be not the normal scheduling time. 6 a.m. is going to be the normal scheduling time starting on... Um, not the second day of the wipe, but the third day of the wipe. That's how it's going to go. So this one's just going to be a little bit early. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for tuning in for the first episode. We got, we got our foot in the door. So much more to come because we're going for that Kappa container. Um, I'll also update the rules to have the uh, Alpha container on the list of containers I can buy. Uh, and uh, yeah, kind of go from there. So, But thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching these all the way through. Be sure to hit that sub button if you have not already. I would love to have you back in the channel. And uh, yeah, welcome to the journey to Kappa and Hardcore.